I still can't believe how much things have changed. We hadn't heard from the Klingons for years. And now we have. Now, the Federation is at war. That was probably the last thing on my mind when I got here. It was the same for you, right? We came to Starfleet Academy to become explorers. Not all of us are fighters. Some of us are engineers, healers, scientists. We've been working hard on the ground and in space. We learned how things worked on a starship. And we learned how to work as a team. We've been getting ready to boldly go where no one has gone before. And today's your big day. Today you graduate and begin your career as a Starfleet officer. It's gonna be amazing. People you can interact with have icons above their heads. Hey, there you are. Are you excited? I am very excited. Pretty soon we'll be reporting for duty on the cadet training crews. Are you kidding? I set up a triple layer alarm sequence to notify me when the postings went up. I think I knew before some of Captain Schaefer's staff. Two words, Chief, Engineer. Right? I'm still not sure if this isn't one of Finnegan's pranks. He's done stuff like this, you know. Ugh, poor Jim Kirk. Hmm. Oh, uh, before I forget, Lifeson is looking for you. Actually, I think I see him over there. You should probably find out what he wants. Here's Lifeson, one of the best tactical cadets in your class. Uh, oh, uh, oh, after Evelyn, of course. <laughs> there you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final, and for all the other times you've helped me. Seriously, I might not have made the cadet cruise if it weren't for you. I hope Schaefer recognizes all you've done to lead our class. Have you got your assignment yet? Huh, well, Lieutenant Tassilne has all the assignments now. I'd see what she knows. Before you do that, do me a favor and talk to Ian. He's got good news, and he won't settle down until he shares it with everyone, including you. Oh, there's Ian. Let's find out what his big news is. Cadets Quan and Peart, with a combined IQ of 231, which, I've heard, is almost up to Tamav's rating. That's the rumor, anyway. Oh, hey. I've been looking for... Yes! I took the linguistics final again, and I aced it! <laughs> you and me both. It wouldn't have happened if I didn't follow your advice. You saw that I wasn't at my best that day, told me to give it another shot. So, I did. That perfect score really made a difference. Now I'm qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Thanks. Always good to have options, right? Kuro took your advice, too. I think it worked out for him, since he's slightly less scowly than usual. Uh, let me know if I'm right, okay? I think I see Kiro over there. Come on. And here we have the smartest person in your class, or so I've heard. It's not entirely fair. Kiro is a super genius, and he's built like a brick shit. Uh, uh, yep, yes. Cadet, it is agreeable to be in your presence. Your advice regarding Federation history was advantageous. It allowed me to pass the final test with satisfactory marks. I am pleased. In the interest of camaraderie, I now inform you that Captain Schaefer is still selecting the senior staff for the upcoming training crews. There is a 78.4% chance that you will be selected for a position, based on my current statistical models. Lieutenant Tassel may have more conclusive data on the matter. I'll wait out here. Tassel should be inside.
Good afternoon, cadet. How may I be of assistance? It is. I will access your assignment data now. One moment. Hmm. Fascinating. Your assignment is not listed. Inquiries on the matter have been directed to Captain Schaefer himself. That remains to be seen. I suggest you report to Captain Schaefer and ask him personally. He is in the office behind me. Enter. Good to see you, Cadet. Today's the big day. Congratulations. Judging by that look on your face, I trust this visit concerns your assignment on the training cruise. Ah, uh, well, you can relax. I'm happy to report that you won't be my new bilge officer. <laughs> Far from it. There is a matter I'd like to address, however. Your academic record is impressive, but I don't see your results for the advanced phase of training program. Care to shed some light on that for me? The Federation is at war with Klingon Empire, Cadet. Shouldn't need to remind you that Klingons enjoy close combat with their enemies. That in mind, I want everyone on my senior staff to complete that program. No exceptions. I did indeed. There's a place for a cadet like you on my bridge, once you finish that phase, of course. My chief engineer and tactical officer have programmed a training simulator for you. I look forward to seeing your results. Cadets Tilly and Surveyor, respectively. They've been working on the simulation for me for some time now. Interesting pair, those two. Some of the staff question bringing Tilly along on the cruise as a junior, but her professors assure me that she's up to the task. Indeed, she'll meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the training, and I'll see you when you're finished. That's all for now, Cadet. Dis I still can't believe I got the Chief Engineer spot. Yes, it's just for the cadet training cruise, but still, how many juniors get to go on the cruise, let alone as a department head? This is exciting. <laughs> okay. Whew, deep breath. I'm good. Woo! <laughs> Enough about me. Uh, where did you end up? Yeah? I was wondering why he wanted us to set up the program for you. Now I know. Hey, I should warn you, it can get pretty lively. With the Klingons and aggression and... I should probably stop telling you about the program now. Oh, no, don't worry. You'll do fine. There's no doubt in my mind. Come on, I'll take you there. Savea's waiting over at the simulator. You know how cranky she gets when people are late. Finnegan actually graduated. I guess the Irish are lucky after all. No one was assigned to a constitution class. Not even you. That's crazy. How many times did you run the Kobayashi Maru? Kirk's up to two now. We better hurry or we'll lose our spot. Oh, I hate running. Uh-oh. There's Ev. And she's looking impatient. There you are. About time. Program's loaded and ready to go. I hope this is your lucky simulator. It's been nothing but bad luck for Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are pretty useful in phaser training, huh? Too bad tricorders don't have a stun setting. You'd get top marks. Kidding! I'm kidding. The phasers are in the armory by the holodecks. Grab one there. <sighs> Running is the worst. Just go to the center of the room. Choose your pain!
Nice work, Cadet. A few points below Sever's personal best, but it was your first try. You'll have plenty of opportunities to knock her from her perch at the top of the list once we're underway. That I do, Cadet. First officer's station is yours. That's if you want it, of course. The bilge officer's spot is still open. Thought you might say that. You've done well here, Cadet. I expect that trend to continue, onward and upward, throughout your career. Likewise. I'll see you on the bridge then. And congratulations. Wow, look at you, first officer. You're gonna do a great job. Congratulations. That thing the captain said about the bilge officer's spot was pretty funny, though. I mean, we don't even have those anymore. Wait, do we? Anyway, first officer, how does it feel? You know, I love her, but Seve is a little too, um, aggressive at times. If all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. I mean, that's her. She's very much a hammer kind of lady. I'm not saying she can't find her way to the center chair, but... Standing right here, Tilly. Might think about that if you want to make it to senior year. What? I'm kidding. Mostly. Seriously, Captain Schaefer didn't make that decision lightly. He believes in you, just like me. Even though you got me blown up in the Kobayashi Maru. Awkward. <laughs> well, we should get going to the shuttle bay. Everybody's waiting for the ceremonial send-off toast. Guess who gets to give that? Now hear this. All cadets report to shuttle bay to prepare for departure. Okay, the rest of the senior staff is waiting just ahead. Time for your big speech. How are you gonna play it? Inspirational? Heartwarming? That could be good. Hey, make Savea cry like just a single tear, warrior style. Anyway, I'll meet you at the bar. No pressure, you're gonna be great. Are you ready to head to the ship? I can't believe we're finally doing this. Ooh, 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 look over there. That's the Glen, one of the new Crossfield class ships. No one really knows much about her, or her capabilities. Well, at Starfleet Academy, anyway. Maybe we'll work on a ship like that someday. For now, our ship's here. She's a Malakowski class, Captain Schaefer's pride and joy. Good speed for her class, definitely maneuverable. A stout, solid, battle-proven design, for sure. I can't wait to see what she can do. Let's land and find out. Okay, we need to check in with the deck officer first, then head to our stations. Oh my Welcome Sylvia aboard. Tilly, What's your name, Chief Cadet? Engineer, reporting for duty. Ah, uh, yes, here we are. Acting first officer. You're all set. Report to Captain Schaefer on the bridge. He's been expecting you. Use the turbo lift behind me. It'll take you directly there. Ah, there you are. Computer, note the executive officer has reported for duty in the ship's log. Welcome aboard, XI. You're right on time. All decks have reported in. We're ready to get underway. Let's start things simple by getting the old girl out of dry dock, huh? Contact dock control. 
and get clearance to depart. After we're cleared, close the shuttle bay doors and disable the tractor moorings. Dock Control has cleared us to de- Acknowledged. Carry on. Shuttle bay doors are closed. Acknowledged. Carry on. Res, take us out. One quarter impulse. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Acknowledged, Helm. Set a course for Vulcan. Warp 4. Course laid in, sir. Engage. Captain, I'm picking up a distress call from the SS Fortuna. Audio only. Put them through, comms. This is the Fortuna! Can you hear me? So, uh, warp core is failing! We could really use some help here! Let them know we're on our way. Helm, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA, three minutes. Transporter room, prepare to beam over survivors. Sir. Sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the Fortuna. Communications are out as well. Mm. Keep trying to hail them, comms. XO, let's discuss the situation. Well, XO, you heard the distress call. What are your recommendations? Afraid not. This is the real deal. First Starfleet regs, we're the closest ship to the Fortuna, so it's our duty to assist. Not usually, no. Good instincts. How would you proceed here? There's a ship in trouble out there, XO. You don't have an hour to spend on deep space scans and simu- on deep space scans and simulations. Agreed. Yellow alert! Surveyor, raise the shields. As for you, XO, get down to the transporter room and oversee the rescue effort. Desmond, the Fortuna should be in range. Give me an update. I'm getting some weird readings. I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. Klingons! Do it with John! A joke! Desmond? Come in! What happened? Desmond? Hold on, we're reading disruptor fire in the transporter room. And Klingons are beaming in on multiple... You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. You let us worry. Over here, Exo! We need you to unlock the armory! You have to enter the command codes! Grab a rifle! We need to deal with the Klingons!
I'm reading a hole breach near the transporter room. Oh, good. You're on the right side of the safety field. Whew. Thanks. I think they were going to engineering, but hurry. There's a lot of them. Security to engineering. We are under attack. We're reading Klingon boarding parties on multiple decks, XO. Our security teams are spread thin. Lead the way, XO. We've got your back. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. <laughs> they were looking for something in here. Can't imagine what, though. I mean, they have warp and impulse tech. What else would be in engineering? Especially since the ship's a complete mess, thanks to them. Is there a part they didn't shoot? Sorry, I, I could really use your help, since you're here. As I was saying, the ship's taken a lot of damage. I'll do what I can to get the essentials online, but I could use some help. See anything you- okay. Okay, warp core stable. Life support is... optimal. Yes! Safety fields engaged. Shipwide comms online. Glad you're still with us. We could use a hand up here. We've taken casualties, and the Klingons could send more boarding parties at any time. Do what you need to do down there, and report to the bridge. Head back to the bridge. We'll cover this deck. Shields! Prepare for... Who is in command here? Speak now! I'm Captain Schaefer, and you are? I am Ja'ula of House Mokai. Surrender now, Captain, while you're still able. Request denied. Get off my ship!
Get off my ship! If you insist, Captain. John Drew! are gone. And so is the captain. I'll try to find the Klingon ship. Your medical assistance was adequate and necessary. I thank you. Uh, oh, that was intense. Klingons. We just fought Klingons. Uh, oh, thought I was done for. Thanks. I'll be okay. Thanks to you. But I owe you one. What, what happened here? Incoming transmission from the Klingons! Do I have your attention, Starfleet? Captain! Are you alright? Silence! Surrender your ship and all classified data within it to me, immediately! Safer, order your crew to do as I say. XO, follow my orders to the letter. Fire on my position. Spoken like a Klingon, Captain. Now die like one! Uh, wh what do we do now? We're still here. Most of us, anyway. The captain. Look, the captain knew what was at stake. He gave the order, and you followed it. If you hadn't, we'd probably all be dead now. All decks have reported in. We took some casualties and sick bay is full. All systems have taken damage, but some were hit worse than others. Life support is stable. Past that, it's not exactly optimal. Working on it, but something's jamming our long-range comms on all three. Still running under cloak. We knocked them around pretty good before they slinked off with their tail between their legs. That said, we're in rough shape ourselves. Damage control teams are assigned. We've put out all the fires and started patching the hull breaches, but... It's gonna take a while. We, um, we'll get the critical systems back online as soon as we're able, Captain. Still reading their distress signal. I can break through the jamming at short range. Shall I hail them? Opening hailing frequencies now, Captain. Greetings, uh, Captain. Uh, thank you for coming to my aid. I must apologize. I sent the distress signal under duress. I'm sure you'll do the same with a Klingon disruptor pointed at your head. Quite so, Captain. 
Our Klingon friends took pains to make my plight look convincing, to the point of damaging my warp drive beyond function. At the risk of <laughs> wearing out my welcome, would you be so kind and assist me? I'd uh, rather not be around if the Klingons come back. Coming to a full stop, Captain. Uh, apologies. I'll wait for your command from now on. They need three or four warp induction coils, Tops. We can spare a few. Thanks. Oh, and uh, good luck with the Klingons, my young friend. You'll need it. Can't say I blame them. I wouldn't want to fight Klingons in a tub like that either. Speaking of Klingons... We have a problem. Most of our plasma injectors are a wreck. See, plasma injectors are made to take a beating, but this damage goes way beyond what would happen in a fight. Pretty sure the Klingons sabotaged them when they boarded us. They wanted to strand us here. Tamav is installing our spare injectors, but we're three short. Without those, we can't go to warp. We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here, Captain. There's wreckage throughout the system. I recommend scanning the derelicts nearby. We may be able to find and recover intact plasma injectors from the wreckage. I'm picking up a few compatible parts in the wreckage. Blast off the outer casings on those units and we can get what we need. Injectors are a little beat up, but I can work with them. Some of these are real top shelf tech. Type J's with a two liter flow, modulating reserves, and those sweet new Kramer darters. Gonna need a little time to get these installed. I'd rather not breach the core after we go to warp because of a full system meltdown. And that can happen with Dicey Inject. Right. I'm on it, Captain. While engineering deals with the warp core, we're stuck here. We need critical systems back online ASAP. It's a sure bet the Klingons are making repairs. And they aren't as safety concerned as we are. They might be back and shooting faster than we'd like. We're on it, Captain. I located several Klingon military satellites nearby. Ian thinks we'll be able to reach Starfleet if we destroy the satellites, and I agree. Besides, we could use a little more target practice. Comms are back, Captain. Shall I send the distress signal? That Klingon ship took some real damage during the fight. I bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. We might be able to use that to find them. No argument here. I'd rather not get blown up by Klingons on a cadet cruise. Or, you know, ever, really. <laughs> Scanning now. Oh, yes! I found it! Sending you the data now. We can trace their plasma signature right back to the source. It'll show up on the map. It's pretty far from us. We should travel at full impulse to reach it. 
This will temporarily take power from the other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. Baka! Your death will be swift, Poo Poo! On ships, decloaking, Captain. Captain, while we have the opportunity, it might not be a bad idea to review some of the basic starship combat files. Wouldn't hurt to be ready when the next group of enemies attack us out here. It would be wise not to follow me. Cowardly, but wise. The mob and I need time to get the plasma injectors installed. Please don't break anything else. This is Captain Thykir Shran. We've received your signal. What happened here? I see. Ever since they acquired their cloaking device, they've been getting bold. Even for Klingons. You're lucky to be alive, Cadet. Which reminds me. You're on Captain Schaefer's ship. Where is he? And did you follow his order? I see. Unfortunate. I served with Anton on the Endeavor. He was a fine officer use more like him. I take it you're the acting captain then? Very well. Schaefer didn't place trust in his officers lightly. If he chose you to be his XO, he knew you could get the job done. I'll expect the same. Our first order of business is getting your ship and crew to safety. We'll escort you to make sure you get back in one piece. I'm sure they are. And if they're foolish enough to come back looking for a fight, they'll get one. In the meantime, set a course for our position. Sabrova, out. So, the wolf now fights with his cubs, eh? No matter. We were on our way to check in on another Starfleet vessel when we received your distress signal. That vessel is still not responding to hails. Considering what happened to you, I'm beginning to fear the worst. I'm going to investigate, and I want you to join me. If the Klingons are up to no good in that system, I'll need backup. I know it's asking a lot, but we're at war. Consider this a field promotion, Cadet. You have your orders. This... this feels wrong, doesn't it? I mean, the captain just got killed by a House Mokai matriarch over something she thought we had on board. 
Shouldn't we be chasing her instead? <sighs> You're right. You're right. For all we know, this Ja'ula could be behind what happened to that other ship. We should help them. I'll get back down to engineering, Captain. We are ready to go to warp when you are. We've arrived, Captain. I'm reading the Ticonderoga dead ahead. Our orders are to make contact with them and find out why they haven't responded to our hails. <laughs> 